Hit, hit. A five-gun salute was sounded at First Platt Senior School today to mark its golden anniversary. Hooray! A sea of blue uniforms surrounded the First Platt Road site as pupils past and present gathered to wish the school a very happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Fabulous! Today, more than 1,200 teenagers attend the school, but when its doors first opened on April 23rd in 1963, just 202 youngsters made up the student body. 61-year-old Hugh Bolter was one of them. It was a fun place to be. It was very tough on discipline, um, but I think the discipline, the 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 needs of um, keeping to the rules and regulations was respected by the pupils so it was a way of life for us and uh, I think that's why the school gained a very high reputation in, in its very early days. Hugh was given a tour of the building by head teacher Tanya White who has taught at the school for nine years. I'm incredibly proud and in fact preparing for today and doing the research and reading about the school's history it's made me even more proud because I've realised um, a how the school's grown B, how in some ways the things that are important to me and important to us today have always been important uh, to this school. Um, we always have lots of plans. There are always things that we want to do to help even more children achieve really well. We want the school to continue being a very popular choice. We have plans in terms of the development on the school site. We're building a new classroom block for September, which we need because of our expanding numbers and our expanding sixth form. And we have lots of plans to also take sports even further on this site. But really for us, we've said 50 years of excellence and we're now focusing on the next 50 years and it's onwards and upwards for us. <laughs> It was straight back to work for youngsters following the low-key celebration due to the impending exam period. But everyone got to enjoy a slice of cake at lunchtime and more events have been planned for July. This is Amanda Hall for The Advertiser.